good job. It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I got another cringe meme for you guys, man. I, I may make a playlist of this. Uh, lately, I've been like seeing some cringe memes and I, I screenshot it and I, I, you know, have my thoughts and opinions on the meme itself. And I like to engage with you guys to get your thoughts and opinions as well. So, we got another one. I don't know how true this post is hopefully it's not but in the climate that we're in nowadays people say a lot of stupid stuff so i wouldn't be surprised if this is a real post from someone so here goes the uh the post right here she posted imagine dating someone who has to wait for payday I'm going to just let that sit there. Imagine dating someone who has to wait for payday as if that is a problem. But we're, we're going to dive into it. And someone responded, damn, even being employed is whack these days. That is an accurate response. Even having a job now is considered lame. I, I'm really hoping this young woman was joking because if she was not joking when she posted this, if this is how she really believes, I don't know who raised her. I don't know, you know, who was dating her, you know, but she definitely, definitely must be living a good life. If you think that someone that has to wait for their payday is a problem. Like that, like that, that doesn't make sense to me. How about that person not having a job trying to date you and trying to be in a relationship with you? That could be a problem. If they're not trying to even better themselves. How about someone that's only just trying to throw money at you, but they not really treat you like a person. They're treating you like an object because they're just throwing money at you. Some people like that. But then it's like, yo, you can't sit up there and say you want a family and want love. You know, you want to build something with someone, but they just only throwing money at you because they know that's going to keep you. You know what I'm saying? Like, where are we at the point in society where having a nine to five and waiting to, to save up so you can't take somebody out is a problem? Like, what? I don't know how many times I've been out on a date and I did not agree to go on that date until I got paid. That's just the smart thing to do. That's just what it is. Like, this is the world we live in. And I, I'm hoping this is a joke, but I don't think it is. I think there are women out there that feel like if you got to wait to payday to take them out, it's a problem. There's something wrong with you. You got to step it up. What? Huh? I wish a woman would sit up there and try to flame me up. Because I was like, oh, yeah, I'm down. Uh, we can definitely uh, check out this spot. Boom, boom, boom. I just got to wait till I get paid. And then we straight or whatever. Even if you don't even have to go into your finances. But say you just offhand say that, you know, just you're not thinking of it. But you just say it in our casual conversation. And she's just like, ugh, wait till payday. You ain't got the money now. We can't go this weekend while we got to wait till payday. Like, ugh, what's wrong with you? Oh, you ain't, you ain't no boss. Like, what? And I bet you the same person, the same person that posted this, I bet money, they wait on somebody else to pay them. If they not working a nine to five, they definitely wait on somebody else to give them money. And if they are working a nine to five, then how, how hypocritical are you? Because you're not just going to blow your money. If you want those nice pair of shoes or you want that nice nice Birkin bag, guess what you're going to do? If you ain't got the money, you're going to stack up your money and wait till payday to get it. You ain't just going to go broke over it. Well, I don't know. The world we live in, motherfuckers go broke just to, just to look cool, just to be fashionable. So I, I just, I can't think this is real. I hope this is a joke, but I just don't think it is. I, I think we live in a time period where stuff like that is real people think like that people feel that hey 
that's cool you got a nine to five, but you know what I'm saying? You should have a lot more money. So in case, you know, you want to take me out, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can just do that instantly. It was like, what? Huh? Oh, okay. All right, man. The dating scene is, uh, it has changed a lot over the years. I'm glad I'm not messing with someone that has that type of mentality. Fellas, kings out there, my fellow kings out there, man. Be very cautious and aware of who you're talking to. Be aware of that. Be aware how they move when finances are brought up. Be aware of how they think. You meet someone like this that's sitting up there talking about, oh, you got to wait till payday. Lead them. Lead them. Lead them where they at in the streets. Do not mess with them because all you're going to be doing is going broke over someone that really ain't really for you. Like, you know, like you think they are. Don't go broke over these women, bro. Build your empire. Stack your money up at your pace. You may not have the dream job. You may not have the dream money. But if you got the aspirations, keep getting to that point. Live within your means. A chick wants to want you to take her out to a five-star restaurant and you barely even know her. Don't do that. Take her to a nice restaurant. If she got a problem with it, for the streets. Live within your means. If she wants you to drop all this money on her and y'all not even official, y'all not even dating, y'all just getting to know each other for the streets. Is she chastising you because of the job you have? It may not be, you not no top tier surgeon or no electrical engineer. You work at Kroger's or something. And she clowning you because of that. And, and you know what I'm saying? Maybe she does have a better job than you, but you're still trying to, you know, you're trying to make some moves for yourself. And she clowning you for it. Kick her, kick it to the curb. Focus on yourself. Get yourself where you want to be. And then, and only then, you open the door to prospects. Don't waste your time trying to impress or trying to show out or trying to, you know, live to the standard of somebody else. Live to your standard. Elevate yourself and everything else will fall into place. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you believe this woman was for real or do you think this was just, uh, just a joke? I, I'm be honest with you. I'm leaning towards, I think this is probably how this person feels. I could be wrong here. I hope I'm wrong. But the world we live in now, people just say and do the dumbest thing. So I don't put it past women thinking like this. Having a nine to five, having to wait to, you know what I'm saying, for your next paycheck to really, you know, start doing something with somebody. It's, 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 it's crazy, bro. That's the world we live in. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, I would like to get y'all thoughts and opinions on that. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.